Hello everyone, my name is Tomelayo Kamalafe. I am a Click Solution Architect, and today I'm gonna to be your Click Sense Solutions Guide. So I was approached by a customer prospect actually, uh, looking to replicate something they're seeing in other tools. And uh, the proposition is, could we use a verbal slider to affect the dimensions that show up on the map. So meaning if I wanted to look up the top 10 cities or the bottom 10 cities, the top 10 customers wanted to slide this, and this drives a map layer. Right now in Click, we don't have in our map chart the ability to set limitations like you can on a box chart or other types of charts. But what I can do now in Click, and I'm gonna show you this in this video is, if I want to look at just, let's say, the uh, top eight cities right you can see i have like a map of that if i move this um to 34 cities by revenue you notice everything is updating but what i've also added that i think is pretty cool is i'm using this variable slider to also drive many other things on this chart for example i'm driving uh this bar chart that showed me bottom 34 products by revenue if i want to look at top 34 products by revenue i can easily do that I'm also, I can also see the total revenue for those products, the total revenue for those top 34 customers. If I want to look at just 19 and so forth. Again, this is hopefully to expand the art of the possible of what you can do in Click. And of course, it's Click. So if I wanted to look at the top or bottom by the month, year, right, I can make selections on this particular month. If I want to look at a particular set of uh, suppliers, I can easily do that also. If I wanted to search for something across my data model, I can easily do that also, right? Still be keeping myself in the context of my insights. Super cool. All right, so I'm now gonna show you how this was done in ClickSense. All right, so now I am in an empty dashboard. So this is a new application where I'm going to look to build this chart object. So the map chart, the variable input box, and depending on how much time we have, I might also show you how I did the buttons and so forth, or maybe save that for another video. All right, so starting off, I'm gonna, going to going to build in a sheet or editing a sheet. I want to build that map chart, like I mentioned, that if I make a slider, uh, if I put a slider on it, it moves according to the number of items. So first I need to create a variable, right? So I'm gonna call this variable V max or something like that. Um, and this variable is just going to help get me the number of rows. So I'll call this variable Vmax row. Let's call it that. So Vmax row. And I'm just going to give this variable some number now, five. And that's it. Just creating a variable so that once I create my slider box, this variable is going to be what I'm using to like drive that slider. Make sense? So now, first things first, I'm going to come into my uh, maps to bring in. I'm going to a map chart where I want to plot my cities. So in my fields, I have city. I'm just going to drop that in there. You know, click is smart enough. Once I drag that in there, it's going to put the point layers. And I want to add some uh, color into this. So right now, I just have my point layer. Let's size this by sales. So I'm going to size this by some sales. All right. So now it's sized by some sales. I have some master items here. So you are aware. So I can just size by sales. All right. So now I've set it by sales, but I want to color by, let's say, the different shippers. See, if a shipper, we have three shippers. If I, if I, and I'd like to add that also. So let's do some coloring. First, I want to color by expression and I want to increase color by dimension and I want to buy shipper ID. All right. And I want to add some, you know, some different color schemes to that. Let's make the opacity that way and outline color just because. All right, so now I have something going on here. 
and now I want to in my city layer right now I'm just plotting cities but what I really need to plot is not just every city I want this function to be smart enough to respond to that variable that I called vmax rank what I can do is and I'll, I'll build this out slowly so I know right now <clears throat> I want to bring in only cities that there are that fall within that top five or top 10 of revenue, right? So what I can do now is I can say rank, right? So rank is the function I'm calling that you can use to filter down for top five, bottom five, so on and so forth. So I want to bring in sales and I want to only bring in uh, the max row, the variable that's under that. And not just that, but I want it to be zero if it's like only bring it basically the cities that fall within that number between that, that, that variable. And if nothing else, bring and if the cities don't fall on that, don't bring the cities in. This is just going to bring this is right now it's a measure to make this a dimension to res to re to re to bring back dimension values i have to introduce the aggregate grade function and now this will actually bring back not just some number it would bring back those cities that fall in that range so now i've done that and right now my vmax i believe is just set to five but you're seeing this thing build up right now i also don't like personally uh this filter box i mean this legend legend here on the right side so i'm going to take that out and under this show legend i don't want to show the legend right old school you can say and what else Now for the parent, I want to maybe call in that top or bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna go in the under under appearance and under general call this uh, top equals top um, v max row. And this will just return that variable. Ah, uh, gotta love when I do that. Top V max run. You can see at the bottom, it's recognizing that. So top five cities by revenue. Um, all right, so hit apply. So it's a garbage of the expression. Let me verify. I need to include the other. That happens sometimes. So top five cities by revenue. So now this is just looking at that. Edit this. I need to create that slider box. And I'll call this variable equals variable slider for n equals. Right. This I want this to look like as a variable. It should be Vmax row. It should be a slider. And I want to update the values. I want to add a label. So almost there. C 
see how straightforward that is. Boom. All right.